There was a question that was posed in Yaye, safety and security. You could spend a picture, um, let's just also not assume that it's a married a couple in a gay mm -hmm. Gender based violence is not just domestic violence. Probably it's also mana ro wa kumba or yeah. something along yeah. those lines. Wa ro wa or your brother or something like that. I think the first um, case um, act of action that's supposed to happen, if it's not sexual, in the sense that probably you don't need any medical assistance, mm -hmm. uh, that is the rape kit and things like that. I think it's also to ensure, but are you also safe? Because I might be able to disclose what might have gone, uh, what might have happened, the situation and everything. But am I, do I also feel safe talking to you? Yeah. In the instance that you realize that sometimes people have an assumption you could cut out a new Sometimes I actually feel unsafe because yeah. probably you have my previous or something. But the women fund is on the end of pure. The women can't say on the end of pure or elder or deacon, whatever. So, so you realize that the safety and security of women is usually neglected in issues of gender-based violence. To go to the mental safety, to go to the physical safety. Are you also emotionally ready to disclose what might have happened? Sometimes. Vanakasiana, in it sometimes it's just kind of and do stuff. Okay. I just maybe want to sit with you, and we can watch cartoons and not say anything. And I feel relieved just mm. to know there's someone who's there, basically. So sometimes we have to understand. I think when it comes to issues of counselling, they have wounds and purpose. Do they have knowledge? Exactly. Do they have experience? Do they have expertise? Mm. Where are they coming from? Exactly. Kuch patara, kuting to no more professional counselors, mm. atoriko, mm, and returns I am a trauma counselors. Mm. I have a work with um Majubilin. I have no shandana kada waka shadana. Mm. Why? Because any knowledge. You could mana at this age aka abuse. How do I get the child to open, to open up, up and exactly. to be free? Yeah. yeah. With church you realize it's the one counselor who's handling all, all these mm. different age groups, these different sexes, these different backgrounds, these different experiences that women and men are also going through. Previously, the producer and Bota and Yekuti, now when they saw we experienced gender-based violence, more me are we, Panama infundis, infundis, in Yuguru Akumba. Probably, facial expression says a lot. Yeah. Body language mm -hmm. says a lot, especially if you have experienced something, you're very keen to see could mm panduk -hmm. tauracha kat munu chadi masi so a chadi ma chicks a k body language are they going to tense up are they going to relax are they you know all those body cues that are supposed to be there mm -hmm. this is where the conversation is happening to say in the faith based uh, groupings be it church be African tradition religion be Muslim be whatever faith based you're coming from do we have individuals of knowledge of handling these issues. Okay. We have experience and expertise who go for teachings of those issues. Mm -hmm. It's not just a matter of putting my money for five years, like I'm church for 15 years, like I'm going to children's church, like I said, for usher hospitality, so she knows how to handle people. Yeah. But, okay. Uh, the issues in, in medicine, where they talk about my spirituality, what I believe in, vis-à-vis mm -hmm. uh, -vis my healing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, belief systems have got something for psychology mm -hmm. and our wellness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and is, it, is it bad if I believe that my religion or my pastor mm -hmm. Is my solution like? Yeah, I think where I was going with the discussion was around issues of safety and security. To say, I think someone will post, but any other kumbaro, motawa la nai, motawa ni muno one. Zaiti kaje, zaiti kapa pakatipe one two. Muno one na one abati loko the other person who probably might be the perpetrator or even still the victim in whatever circumstances that may be there. Umwa no gono tuni na pastor na ram kazi. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the victim asarachi kumba. What action is being taken? And sometimes it's so physical that mun awea akajimba, akavunka rumpo. And then you say you don't want to include the police officers. 
and then that person is expected to go back, back home. And not just this issue will not all affect yeah. Munu, Vanvaviri, there are no Garanavo, Vanavo no Chitik, Vana Mayo Babaroa, Vapiso and Mafuta, Piso and Vura, Vavunica, Manar Kurachi from what? It's okay. Varpa next door could have repeat Kokavari, Avaskuta or Askurat is the moon. What or not? Oh, it's okay. This is when things become normalized. normalized. Yeah. Exactly. This is where the normalization starts to say, oh, to know what Vanu at a more wrong country. To be me, Mumba, to be my dog, to be granny, the papa kitten. Wabawana, to Kabawana, to Kabawana. Normalization of those things, yeah. but nothing is being done. And we are worried about the future generation, exactly. the children that are seeing those acts of violence. You also talked around spiritual healing, which is quite profound actually mm -hmm. when you're looking at issues of um, psycho support of uh, men and women and children, mm -hmm. and looking at emotional health, mental health. Mm -hmm. It's quite important and very prevalent, but we need to be wary of the form of spiritual healing that's happening. Are we also reinforcing issues of gender-based violence through religion and spirituality, or are we addressing these issues? Yeah. Is spirituality a helper, or spirituality is also a perpetrator? Okay, thank you, Ms. T. Thank you, because you tackled on some issues that I think there's there's, I don't know what to call it, because when we're talking spirit, when we're tackling spirituality and religion, those are two different things, mm -hmm. totally different things. Because spirituality has everything to do with you as an individual, without an outside force of religion, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And then religion, that's where we come with the institutions, with the pastors and everything. So, what I wanted, Mili, I would love for you to interject on this issue of because I heard my mom mm -hmm. talking about. So sometimes when they come and they've come to me direct, mm -hmm. you know, there's no point in, like sometimes there's no point in me involving the police. I, I, I want you to tackle on that part of not involving the police because I feel like that's an enabler. Because when we go, you tell me, okay, fine, I'm To the perpetrator sometimes, isn't it a go ahead, okay, I've done this. I was not reported to the police. Can I not do it again and get away with it? I mean, is it the same? That, that discussion, that, like, is it not also okay to build if we can? Okay. If it's within our means, if, if it's Maybe I don't know. Like, some... yeah, I'm just throwing you know, the discussion. around the issues of how to take action. Yes, when to this say... happens, good pastor. Pastor, but Rao, who puts a rain by you? Know, okay, okay, I, can, like, I don't know. Like, <laughs> this is what I'm asking. As a church, we are not saying that the police are not included. Yes, at least the police are not included. But I don't know what you are doing. You are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do it. You are not going to be able to do should I say go to the police with your issue? Without talking to them. And see, Panem can put ERO, Mkaz, and Panato Roa, when the Vari Pango Roa. Oh, you are not police, mm -hmm. but doctor, we are poor. Should I say, can I ask up and papa in any in any Wakawara Serek? Makari, ah, you wish to know my police, and it no better to sit up to get this as you, and it no better to tell my chitor and yaya to tell up cancela, and it ah, Pamuba Baba Chacha to one of the pa, a good and cut the niggers to the wood. I end up with police, the canoe to a certain one of the Pamasa to tell up for now. Why go with you? In the okay. okay. they know to tell tale, look at to take a sit down to the tongue of Tora and it is Pacana, which is old Vida, and it is Pamana does not rap. Look at it at the same time. We are not those type of pastors or not Panamarunda, without Timora, Timona Matra or Pora, talk to Dr. Mona and his father and it. Then Pamacana, I know the good father, look at the gap in for police. Police man can act so in for police. Arab 
So I, I think totally understand. I think <laughs> just to 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 interject a, a, a bit. I think the problem now in our communities is where she's coming from. She's coming in as a listener. That's where we are lacking at times mm -hmm. in the communities. When there is an issue between two people, mm -hmm. like right now we are celebrating, uh, we are commemorating mm -hmm. activism, you know, mm -hmm. of the 16 days, yeah. right? So it's the listening that we are lacking in our communities, you know? People have fights. Mm -hmm. Who listens? To hear side A, side B, and then obvious we have the the side, exactly. the, the truth exactly. of whatever would have happened. But then where Babus was coming from was the gap that is there is people don't report such cases. And in a way, exactly. it has to continue. Mm -hmm. Men can just do anything, women can just do anything mm -hmm. without the law. Exactly. So I think it is our duty now to say when such violations happen, we need to involve the police. So that those that listen, those that say, we have social media, all these issues can they can be awash on social media. Exactly. And women, oh yes, it's, it's, it's in our DNA. We are discussing this. Yet the victim is traumatized. Exactly. She's in a setup with their kids. They are also traumatized. Exactly. They are growing up in such a toxic environment, mm -hmm. such a violent environment. Okay. And we are creating monsters in our communities. Exactly. Okay. Is yeah. this a vibe? I mean, what mm -hmm. are you saying about this? Should we remove it out of the equation mm -hmm. and go to the professionals? Mm -hmm. Or should we, like, probably, let's, like, that's I, I, my question. I, 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 was, I was almost getting there. Uh, uh, <laughs> I think you know very well, and I'm yeah. not even shy. Mm -hmm. I'm a survivor uh, of gender based violence. It wasn't for many months or many years, no. The shortest months ever. But I experienced all forms of violence mm -hmm. during that period. Mm -hmm. But what really helped me, I'm a very religious person, and I'm not even shy to say it. The church really helped me. I think the part of my belief in my spirituality mm -hmm. helped me a lot. Mm -hmm. Because if I wasn't in that safe space, I would have committed suicide. We have seen a lot of people that have opted for suicide, for throwing themselves on a moving bus or whatever, whatever. Yeah. We can say that. Mm -hmm. So I think for me, spirituality matters, matters much. Mm -hmm. And it also helps much on the mental health Exactly. On the mental health, exactly. we have seen people that are depressed. They've stayed in abusive uh, relationships for years. Yeah. We have mm -hmm. had to mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and some have been maimed. Mm -hmm. you know, it's because of of the safe spaces that we don't have in the communities. Exactly. What is the elder? What is the law saying? Exactly. What is this so-called safe space saying? Mm -hmm. How are we going to handle this issue? Because remember, we have the culture. Exactly. It's more like a cocoon. Mm -hmm. Whether we like it or not, we are coming from different families. Exactly. We are coming from a different set of cultural beliefs. Where we are saying, marriage for me is a trophy. You know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want to stay married. Okay. I want to remain my mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. But that marriage is toxic. But that marriage is toxic. Exactly. Midlands is on record. I think we all know. We mm -hmm. have been seen on media. We have, mm -hmm. we have my WhatsApp groups. Mm -hmm. You name it. Mm -hmm. Not only for ritual purposes. Mm -hmm. exactly. Because of the passion killings. Exactly. argument. He feels good. I have no, if he can't have me, then no one should. Exactly. And it, exactly. What is happening? There is not enough awareness. Are we doing enough? In our communities, mm -hmm. are the so called stakeholders doing enough? Exactly. The so called ministries doing enough? Mm -hmm. Is the legislation on paper enough to say it's being implemented? Mm -hmm. Are we acting on that? We have people that are saying, exactly. Thank you. you know, mm -hmm. we have our husbands that are saying, to know that if it is sexual violence, to not go but. Exactly. Our communities, are we doing enough? This so religion, in number one for me, could never not believe in Joshua. And then some we say to we believe in the universe. Exactly. They are not only focusing on the God that they exactly. believe in. Yeah. Some are saying to me, I believe in Mizimina Vashari, Vaziwa, Mudoto Bonopira, Kutishinaki. So honestly, spirituality plays a big role. We can't do without the church. We can't do without those that believe in Mizimina Mashari. We can't do, we, we have atheists. 
for crying out loud is a fact exactly. it's a global world people have different beliefs exactly so umamun i'm a safe space episode if i do this <coughs> i feel okay mm -hmm. but honestly speaking i think the law is not doing enough to protect women and men against gbv Thank that's you my, Thank that's you. my thinking. Thank you very much, Mili. Um, like I said, we are going to be tackling a lot of issues that are uncomfortable. So we'll be sure to be right back. Keep on watching. <laughs> <laughs>